from a small town when. Good morning, honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, teachers, and fellow students. I'm standing in front of y'all this morning to talk about my hometown. Located about an hour and a half north of Cantaloupe, there's a small town called Clearwater. Now, this is when you know you live in a small town. You said the F word and your parents knew within an hour. You could name every single person that you graduated with and everybody would go to the exact same party every weekend. And you'd party anywhere, in a barn, a gravel pit, even in the middle of a dirt road. And you could always tell who was at the party ne the next morning from the cuts and scrapes on their legs and arms from running through the bushes when the party got busted. <laughs> Being able to hit a road sign with a beer bottle while driving down the highway is considered a necessary skill. <laughs> when you get married, hit a home run, make a touchdown, or have a traffic accident, the local newspaper devotes half, or even just a quarter, page story. Your gym teacher would suggest that you haul hay bales over the summer to get stronger. <laughs> you call the wrong number and the person you call gives you the right number. <laughs> oh, and by the way, it was quite normal to see a horse or two in the Dairy Queen drive through That's not a rare occurrence. It was always normal to see a, man, a retired man or two riding through the streets on a lawn tractor. And if you finally decided to get off your bike and go for a walk, at least five people would pull you over and ask if you wanted a ride. <laughs> and you know you live in a small town when the New Year's baby was born in October. <laughs> you gotta love small towns, eh? We all attend the same school, Clearwater Secondary. It's a place where the drama never stops and when you can't help but date your friend's ex-boyfriend. It's a place where you can make fun of your teachers and they laugh along with you, and then they laugh at you when you see your report card. <laughs> most of us have been called by our siblings' names, and most of our teachers remember when they taught your parents, and then they pray that you don't act like they did. <laughs> Some people call Clearwater Hicktown or a redneck country, and I bet you that's why most of us have long hair. But nonetheless, the nice part about living in a small town is that when I don't know what I'm doing, somebody else does. 